Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on OP Legends. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the best starter meta on this server. This is going to get you the most amount of money. And it's just going to help you progress so much more in the beginning. So let's get straight into it. First things first, we do have a party loot box. I'm pretty sure you get these from vote parties and stuff like that. So let's just go ahead and open up it real quick. Boom, click to open. Hopefully we get something good because we are, we do, we do want some pretty good stuff from this. And so we got some mob coins. Looks like an ultra dungeon core box, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open it up real quick we got an unusual judging core okay that is really good it's serpent five use this core in the dungeons menu to uh, augment your dungeon with its effects let's see let's do less dungeons and click the view gateway dungeons so boom we can equip it and it gives a bonus reward chance of 15 percent but it also boosts the enemy speed by 93 percent which is kind of crazy but a 15 percent bonus reward chance is pretty good but i don't think i'm going to use it for my first dungeon we are going to dive into a little bit of dungeons in today's video too i don't really know what you need for the dungeons i don't know if you need your own gear I'm assuming you kind of do but let's see what gear we can actually go ahead and get if we do slush armor boom and let's see we could get scarecrow armor but we need level 20 so we're gonna have to probably just craft like iron or diamond armor for a start of it actually i forgot there is actually specific dungeon armor there's iron golden necro necrotic and earth root so we can actually go ahead and use the iron gear we need one enchanted iron ingot to go ahead and craft it we look in the shop each enchanted iron ingot is about 13k so we could buy around three of them and that's enough for the gear and we could probably just use a basic sword or we might just get a little bit more money and the meta for getting money in the early game is something we're going to go over later in the video or we might actually go over it right now so let's go over it right now so we get enough money so we can actually go ahead and do the dungeons so for the starting meta you what you want to do is actually fishing and fishing might not seem like it's really good for now but if we take a look if we do slash armor you can see we do want a rod and a rod right now costs eight oak wood and 10 money let's see there's also a stone rod which costs 64 oak wood and 24 cobblestone and fine one money and then the iron one let's see 12 enchanted oak in oak wood one enchanted ironing and 10k money so we don't have that yet let's go ahead and go for an iron one so i'm gonna get the oak wood and the cobblestone and i'll come back once i've crafted it okay so we've got what we've needed for the hoe let's go ahead and go into slash armor and craft it so boom grinding tools stone tools and boom now we have a stone rod let's go ahead and go to the uh lake area i also need a fly i I honestly don't know how. Let me to slash fly. I have no time remaining. Uh, I'll probably figure that out later. But in order to fish, you actually just cast it into the water. And a fish will come up to it. And I'm pretty sure there probably is a chance to help you get more fish and stuff like that. But let's actually go to a different area because there's not a lot of fish there. Go down and it should come over here. Okay, so boom, I caught a fish. I'm going to catch another one just to show you how it works. So boom, you just unlock a fish. And then you keep clicking and it should catch the fish for you. And we did actually level up our fishing and got 5 mil for it, which is kind of insane. And we have five here let's do slash sell hand and 12k just from five fish is kind of crazy and it's just starting out so that is pretty wild and it's on order to lock fly you just have to vote and slash vote so i might do that or you could also go into the mob coin shop and you can unlock one day of flight time for 20k mob coins but we currently don't have a lot of mob coins but yeah we have 10 mil so honestly we might not even have to keep fishing because the next way we're gonna have to start making money is if we go to the island and do slash shop and then go to the farming the nether warts are probably the best way to make money for me now because they cost 100k each but you don't have to buy them all you could start farming and you get more and more but they sell for 1200 each which is kind of insane and yeah so we're probably going to start working on a farm here oh so i'm going to go ahead and vote for a little bit of flight time and i do recommend you do that too just makes grinding so much easier okay so we just voted and we got eight vote keys and if we do slash fly we have seven hours or around eight hours so it's kind of good it will last us definitely so i'm going to get started on building the farm and i'll come back once i've got it set up a little bit okay so i've got a little bit of the nether world farm set up and it's not looking the best but we are just waiting for them to grow instead of just keep buying because they cost so much money if we take a look in the shop and go into the nether war a stack is 6.4 mil which is kind of insane so we couldn't even buy another stack so we're just waiting for them to grow and once we break it it should give us about like two to three more i'm pretty sure that's how it works and then we're just gonna keep replanting and replanting and getting more and more or we could honestly do more fishing for some more money but i think i'm just gonna afk this for now and just wait for it all to grow and then keep replanting and stuff like that and later i do want to go ahead and do a dungeon because i want to showcase them a little bit these nether boards are taking a long time to grow and i realized in his upgrades you can actually go ahead and upgrade the crop growth speed with some mob coins and honestly just for the first level a 2x boost for the crop speed would be kind of insane but we do only have 1k mob coin so i'm gonna try to figure out some ways to get some more mob coins i'm pretty sure you can get them from farming and probably grinding mobs but i'm gonna look for the best way to get them real quick okay so i found out the best way to actually get some mob coins 
or the fastest way is to open up some keys so let's go ahead and see we don't have any keys on our pv i'm pretty sure we probably claimed them all let's do slash crates we have 12 grind crates 11 loot crates 2 relics and 14 vote crates so let's just go ahead and start with the grind crates okay those are not a lot of mob coins but we are only level three so it does make sense so let's go and do slash crates it's to open all i don't know how many mob coins we got probably not a lot uh, boom let's see what we get from this we got a teleporter a dungeon teleporter that's kind of cool i don't really know what that does but we got some mob coins some more money and experience two relic crates open up both of those we got a skeleton spawner that is our first spawner of the map kind of crazy and then we got a regular dungeon core box let's open up that it gives a boosted player speed reward quality but minus is our total lives okay definitely gonna keep that in mind we do have the other one that we did get earlier which is probably the highest tier core you can get i'm pretty sure and then let's do slash crates and open up the final vote crates boom and still open all we got another sheep spawner we got three relic keys and we have some pet boxes we can actually go ahead and open we got a common xp pet and a common mob coins pet which common isn't really good we're kind of looking for the epic and above rarities but these spawners are definitely gonna help us and i'm probably gonna these spawners are gonna help us but i don't think i'm gonna place them yet because i don't really have a farm set up it looks like this teleporter just allows us to ignore the cooldown of the dungeon so we could do it twice instead of having to wait but we did not get very many mob coins from that so we're gonna have to level up or find another way to get mob coins but somebody nether war has grown so let's go ahead boom like see if we break this we got four nether war from this instead of having to buy a whole nother stack with our own money and we don't even have the money to get a lot of nether war so this is how we're gonna have to do it for a little bit until we get a lot of money it's not a totally bad way to do it because we did just get 21 extra nether war from doing this they do grow decently fast too but as you could as you can see they sell for 1200 money each which is the best crop i'm pretty sure that is here like we only sells for 3.7 carrot sells for 17.35 cactus sells for 76 and i don't really know if cactus farms like how they work on the server so i'm pretty sure nether is definitely the best and as you can see on the hoe enchants wherever mine is i do slash gear is actually how you level up your hoes and stuff we get fortune which gives us more of them and we should actually be using this but we don't have enough xp we do need a little bit more but we have key finder replant replant we're gonna definitely need because if we don't have it then we just have to replant every single time which is gonna be a pain so we're definitely gonna get that sickle will be good once we do get a bigger farm telepath uh that could be good but i think the main one right now is replanter because it will be a pain if we have to keep replanting over and over and boom just like that we got 33 more nether warts so this is actually going pretty like exponential with the amount of nether warts we are getting i think i'm gonna try to get enough to fill this whole thing out and then we're definitely going to expand i think i might want to go ahead and do a dungeon real quick so let's go ahead and put some chests down and empty our inventory in go ahead and buy some gear so if we go into slash armor and go ahead and go to the dungeon pvp gear we can only buy the iron gear for now but we have the iron chest plate iron leggings iron boots which all cost one enchanted iron ingot and then i don't really know the difference between these i'm gonna just go for the sword okay so i'm currently unable to do dungeons because in order to get an enchanted iron ingot you do need seven around seven blocks of iron to actually get one piece of uh, enchanted iron ingot, which is kind of crazy. We're going to have to grind for that. But this guy did let me use his blaze farm for some XP. He gave me his honey sword, which is the best sword on the server. He gives you more uh, points multiplier and mobcoin multiplier. And I got a bunch of keys because he does have key finder on it. And so, honestly, we got 131,000 XP, which is going to help us get some enchants on our hoe and some other tools. And it's going to help us a ton with leveling up. And if we do make a, a cobblestone generator, we will actually put some XP enchants on our pickaxe which will help us get some of those iron blocks that we do need but i think that's gonna be it for today's video we're definitely gonna do some dungeons in another video but yeah that's gonna be it and i hope you guys did enjoy this new meta and i'm gonna see you in the next one peace out